Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amiya. I'll take your maximum 10 minutes in which we are going to discuss 13 different types of chart you should know before going to take JAT. JAT is known to ask questions on a different type of chart. In this session, we are not going to solve a single question, but try to understand how do we have different type of charts, how they look like, what are their interpretations. If you get any of these 13 charts, you can solve question easily. Our first chart is the famous chart which is known as the scattered plot. The scattered plot is excellent for showing the relationship between two data. Note it down, relationship between the two data. JAT has asked question on the scattered plot. We have a best fit line always. If we do not have a best fit line, we assume the best fit line. Here are this line is the best fit line and the equation of this best fit line is the So means we have some relation in the linearity with these two variables. This is plus 1 to minus 1. To understand it better, how do we find the relationship? This one is the relationship. This relationship is the linear. We have another relationship. This one is nothing but the quadratic relationship. Third one is the polynomial. This one is generally the cubic equation, but we can say this is a polynomial also. And here no relationship. And one point is outside the group, then we call it the outliers. So you have to understand the scattered plot. You have to understand the what is the value of R square. If R square near to 1, that means is highly correlated in the positive terms. A scattered plot and with the scattered plot, we find the relationship between the two variables. I hope this one is clear. Next is the waterfall chart. These are nothing but a bar graph. The waterfall chart is excellent for variance analysis. This is the variance analysis and explaining how an actual result was different than the budget how the actual result was different from the budget. This was the R expected, but R actual is this one, how it is different and how something has changed relative to an original data point. So we have budget of the 7.5 lakhs, then volume adjusted, then price increase, then variable cost adjusted, then fixed cost increase, and we got our actual. I hope you understand no you didn't understand to understand a waterfall chart in the better way let's discuss the another chart we have another waterfall chart so see the office block we have gross revenue then our revenue adjusted then our net revenue then inventory adjusted then merchandising adjusted then other sales in adjusted then we have gross income we have two type of graph one is the blue graph and another one is the Saffron graph. The blue graph is increasing, that is a plus, and the saffron graph is nothing but the minus. To understand it better, let's check the diagram. We had first the gross revenue, then we adjusted the revenue, we decreased the value. First, we increased, then we decreased the value. Then again, we added, that is nothing but the net revenue. When we do this, we get the net revenue. When the net revenue is adjusted by inventory, merchandising and other sales, this we get nothing but the gross income. So our blue chart is the exact values and these are the adjustment or the negative values. Then adjusted by the staff, marketing and facilities and other investment on instruments. Means these are our expenses, what we have right now. Again, we paid the taxes than what we have right now. So we can say this one is the revenue before tax because we paid tax. So we just need to understand what we are doing in the waterfall chart. We had value, then we adjusted. That is nothing but expense. You can say these are the expenses and these are our value or the revenue before expenses and after expenses. So you need to understand waterfall chart very carefully. The top values are your revenue or as per the quotient and the other values are the expenses or as per the question. I hope this one is clear. If you have any waterfall chart in your examination, you can solve it very easily. The total expenses are the summation of these values. I hope this one is clear. You can expect waterfall chart in your JAT examination. The next chart is the Gauss chart. The Gauss chart is perfect for the graphing a single data point and showing where that result fits in a scale from bad to good. Next is the spider or the web chart. This is the easy one. That is nothing but a score comparison. That is a easy one. You can say 
implies skill that this is the fusion chart we have taken from a fusion chart this would also help to determine HR manager can visualize implied performance data based on the ranking given by the respective seniors on a single chart that is the 360 degree performance if we are talking about this chart can also be used to plan implied training this is one of the important thing that is the future planning if we have to work on the punctuality then we work on the Suzanne performance we know problem solving skill of the Suzanne is very much good so if we have to give the problem solving training we'll give training to the Tom if I say your score is less than three then only training required what I'm saying is your score is less than three than training required so the training required is here here and nowhere so the training required is for the Suzanne in the communication skill and also the team player skill if they have team player activity then both Tom and Suzanne would go for that training so these are the values or these are the chart which will help us to determine the data in the correct way or the better way next is the funnel chart we have discussed a question on this one the funnel chart help us to determine the problem we have website this then download we have just two numbers but if we see the chart we can say okay boss this area is much bigger than the, this area so the problem is between the downloads if website visitors do more downloads then the bottom would definitely increase they have valid contacts means we need to work on the contacts we have website visitors means we have to get the more valid contacts might be possible website visitors are not giving the valid contact if you see these values if you see these chart the area remains the same almost means interested in buying have same purchasing tendency so what we have to do we have to increase download but no the most important thing is we need valid contacts and we have to increase the interest of the buyers so this is nothing but a funnel chart to understand the value pyramid chart is same as the funnel chart but in the reverse order meko chart this is again a bar graph in a different pattern but easy to understand it represents the relative contribution of a specific value within a subcategory through the varying height but goes beyond that by also using varying column width to visualize the contribution of those same values to the overall the next is the population pyramid this is nothing but our data which might not come in your examination but you have to understand this one is the population pyramid uh, if we see the population pyramid graph we find both are the equally shaped curves so we can say the sex ratio is near 2000 and this is a whale groomed population i would say please pause the video and read the instruction next one is the binary decision diagram one of the most important diagram which might come in the chat and we have discussed a question on the binary curve diagram please find the video in our youtube channel next one is the circuit diagram the most used diagram in the physics I doubt this would come in a jet but if this would come in a jet that might come in a decision making at which step what we have to do but they will give you complete description of this chart next is the scat area chart easy to compare multi-level pie chart we have seen the pie chart but this one is nothing but a multi-level pie chart this help us to get all data in a single pie chart there's no need to discuss many times we have seen one pie chart two pie chart three pie chart they might give a multiple level pie chart we have to use the same method in solving multiple pie chart or the multi-level pie chart so if you find this chart in your course examination please don't be surprised because these three pie charts or the single pie chart would have the same and our motive is same be familiar with all the different type of charts before jet examination this line graph this won't come in the jet i think but jet has asked question on the bike in the graph like small boxes in 2014 or 16 so we have discussed the 13 different charts for the jet i would say if you find an any new data chart in the jet must read the chart and solve the question new data chart is always easy to solve but might be not easy to comprehend so read it twice or thrice and solve the question i hope this one is clear and all the best for your jatic generation if you have any doubt i would say please feel free to ping me okay i hope this one is clear to you thank you and happy learning and bye bye